La Nina. It is now forecast to kick in this winter. What does that mean for us? Well, La Nina is typically a drier pattern for us. It takes a lot of the activity further north. It is also, in theory, warmer than average. With that said, and I always have to put this caveat in there, we have gotten significant cold snaps in La Nina years. It's just that when you average it all out, it tends to be a little bit warmer. But that does not mean we can't see one of those big time cold fronts like we did back in 2021. You remember that? That was a La Nina year. So El Nino, over the last 10 years, we had that in 2015, 2016, 2019, and 2024. We're talking about the winters here. Uh, and those were fairly wet winters. And then you get into the La Nina years, which was 2018, 2021, 2022, and 2023. We had a, a, basically a three-year stretch there where we had La Nina. Then we went neutral last year. And now as we go into the winter of 2026, it's looking as though we'll add that to the La Nina side of things, which again, uh, may trend drier for us.